Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, Karibu Sana, my name is Ruby, and if you're a returning subscriber, you know how we do it. You know how we do it, guys. You know how we do it. I love you guys so 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 much. Like you mean a lot, man, for clicking, for coming back to watch my videos. You know what that means. You know what that means. Yo, you guys I love you so much. I wish I could hug all of you right now. Like, man. Now, Fenda, Karibuni Sana, thank you so much for being here with me. I love you guys so, 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 so much. So, in today's video, guys, I don't want to rumble too much. I want this video to be the shortest, like the shortest. I hope I will do it. I hope I can do it. I hope I can do it. Man, it's so cold outside. It is so cold outside. Like, you can tell from the dressing code. You can tell from the cap. I love this tea. The tea of today is higher living. This today's tea, today's drink, higher living, organic. Okay, this tea bag. Let me show you guys. It's organic. It, it literally have food stuffs like kind of carrots, berries, and all that. So it is so so nice. Plus the packaging itself. The packaging it's like a cloth, like, and it's so organic. It's so recyclable, like. You can tell. I don't want to rumble too much. I don't want to. <laughs> Nishanza, man, Nishanza. Okay, guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about types of visa. Visas that nobody talks about them. Like, nobody talks about them. I've never had anyone talking about these type of, types of visas. I'm here to share with you. Like, it's not a must you get a job um, for you to come in the UK. It's not a must you get um, students visa for you to come in the uk all right so um let's dive into it like let's get into it real quick okay number one is youth mobility scheme for this youth mobility scheme you must be 18 years to 35 years all right you must be 18 years to 35 years at the time you are applying you should be 18 years by the time you are applying you should be 35 plus like it's not an issue if you are you are 35 plus like you are 35 plus as long as you are 35 and above it's okay so this youth mobility scheme one thing you must have um obviously it's a passport and it should have a page for the visa stamp like the visa stamp it should have uh, a page a clean page a clear one that has not been used um you must have savings of 2530 pounds in your account for it to sustain you here in the UK. Okay, here in the UK, 2530 pounds. So convert that to Kenya shillings. Come out 1000 pounds is 180k. What about 2530? Convert your Sabora Karaka. Tell me down in the comment down section below. If you have money, trust you me, everything is it everything is possible in this world okay so youth mobility you, you should have um definitely passport you should have that saving you should have a tb test a tb test is a must if you are in a country that requires you to have a tb test all right and tb test guys here you go to iom is the building you can't just wake up in the morning and um decide like go to any clinic go to any hospital that you want to be tested for tb that will not allow you to travel because the IOM, um, that is International Office for Migration, that one is required because that certificate has a hologram that once it's scanned, it, it shows the details, your details, everything about you, okay, the results and all that. So for that, I'll advise you if you're going for that, okay, I'll give you that advice towards the end, okay? So you must have that um, certificate, that TB certificate. and. It must not be past six months. Once it's it should be within the six months. Once it's past six months, it has expired. You're not going to use it. It has lost its its value. Like Haita Kusedia, it's not going to work. It's not going even to reflect. It's not going to like it's done. It's it's a done thing. So you have to go and redo the test again. So the last time I was there, it was seventeen 
uh, 17,000 Kenya shillings. Right now, vile vitu zinaenda huko nyumbani kwetu like the way things are moving right now in Kenya is not like it's not it. Like eh hey, it's not it. I'm pretty sure sasa hii shafika 20, 25 inaelekea at 30. <sighs> Who knows? So for that one you must have that and you must have proof you have must have proof of English like you can speak English proof of funds and you have to pay um health surcharge that is 470 pounds every year you must pay that and now the application fee the application fee is around 230 pounds Kenya shillings so you can tell me like convert down below like convert down below uh, how much that is so you must have that amount of money in saving 2530 25, pounds 2530 pounds another type of visa we're having is a ancestral visa now on this one if you have grandparents if you had grandparents um that they were living here or they were in that territory that was you know colonized or it's a british territorial or europe territorial you have um and you know like you have proof that your grandparents were here like they are they were here they were adopted maybe your parents were adopted your gra grandparents were adopted and you are given birth but they were not married you have a uh, proof of it you can apply for that visa type this one also you must have 25 30 pounds for you to be eligible to come to the uk one thing about uk they don't want liabilities like as long as you pesa kujisimamia like you can sustain yourself that's the, that's good that's okay and with these types of visa guys you can convert them to you know work visa you can work with these types of visas you, but all, the only thing is you can't receive public funds like you can't get public funds how these public funds work guys ni watu nyoko huku wamelemewa like those people who can't go to work you know those people who can't go to work like they decide no i'm too tired for for this work uh, work work thing i'm going to stay home as long as you're a uk citizen you're given money you're given money every month like your house is paid for the rent is paid for you, you you're given pocket money like you can apply for that public fund lakini for this one you are not even for us for for me dependent visa i am not allowed to receive public funds for so that one i think is for the uk residents who are living here uk citizens when you're on issue when you're mezali woku their government is supporting them yeah the government is supporting them so for that ancestral that i was taking talking about guys you must have proof that you know um um this and this like you must have proof that your grandparents were here and they haven't changed their name and they were born around 1922 um around march yeah if you have proof and if you have documents that are supporting that one so easy for you you can just come and you can start working you can do a business you know there's no restriction to that except for the public funds that's the only restriction about the ancestral you know type of visa Another type of visa that you can come with here in the UK that you don't need to have a job offer is a um, global talent uh, scheme. I think it's something, global talent scheme. As long as you are, you are creative, arts and creative, you can come. As long and you have a certificate showing that and you have been chosen by this global, there is a, a process you have to do, you have to apply, you have to compete with the other people, you have to get that certificate. If you are digital like digital technology perfect like you're perfect like let me tell you guys let me give you a secret guys if you want to learn something like if you want to learn anything like something that is going to at least give you a chance to come to this side if you're interested you know I might be talking that some people maybe they're not interested even to to come here um, apparently there are people who are not interested to come here so I'm talking to those who are interested please go to Alison up Alison is going to help you, like, you can do any course, Kamani Health, healthcare assistant, you can do it on Alison. Kamani Digital Marketing, please go to Alison. I'm going to leave a, a link down below, guys. I'm going to leave, leave a link on my descri description box. Please be careful, like, go there, register, sign up, start learning, start learning digital marketing, especially 
ama anything digitally uh, digital technology you can need people who are wako na skills za digital you know mambo na IT whatever 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 go learn there, there's a lot on Alison and one thing about Alison is oh my god I'm not even paid to advertise this but I'm just giving you the gist guys that app that I'm going to link down below please go sign up for it like and that would you register like start learning these things it is international like Alison is an international course like it's an international app that offers courses and their certificates are accepted here in the UK like ukionyeshana to digitally like you did um a certificate with them like we did a course with them you have a certificate with them that's it like you can get jobs go learn digital marketing guys go learn um digital whatever anything digitally uh data science yo mambo everything in it go learn there kama ni it na healthcare you you are just okay you're good to go like you are good to go especially healthcare you you can easily get jobs like especially who could they hire people with healthcare certificates okay go on Alison link down below I'm going to leave it down below I'm going to help you as long as you want to change your life guys as long as you're pushing me to like to help you change your life I am going to help you and please help me help you like ni saidie ni kusaidie all right okay so that one is alafu again if you have a creative like you 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 you're an interior designer definitely there's a chance for you and you have the certificate of course and you must have the funds all right 25 30 pounds all right you have to pay the surcharge health surcharge person for 70 pounds all right you have to pay for 70 every year so for 70 pounds you can convert it all right upper member you convert so you must have like the finances are the only thing that they are finances finance is the only thing that is limiting kenyans like limiting africans like to come to these sides like akuna kitu ngine ninawazuia by the way as long as mtu kona do like as long as you have the money and you're working with god and you're highly favored nothing is impossible another type of visa is a high potential individuals these high potential individuals you must be awarded a certificate from a specific university from us from around the world like you must have a certificate awarded like you can be a leader um you can lead like you have potential to lead people uh, you are a potential leader you can come here and vie for presidency you can come here vie for you know chancellor governors whatever thing they call them here okay you can come and vie for that ama you can come and do that leadership here you can come and lead people here okay if you have potential and you must be awarded to be precise you must be awarded if you have phd the the visa can last you two two years to three years if you have masters it can last you two to three years also okay and the good part is you can renew it like yani once it expires you can renew it you can renew it and once you finish five years guys you can uh, apply for indefinite leave like to stay in the uk indefinite leave to stay in the uk and that one is a good line for you now to to have a chance to secure um uk citizenship british british citizenship okay once you apply for indefinite leave like they have you have shown them already you are capable of staying in their country without mistakes without um ukora mingi and you're a good person and your income has been good and we've been working on um areas with shortages and all that and you've been paying your taxes correctly there is nothing that you know what it will stop it like it was topisha was um british you know citizenship all right so someone might be asking why are you doing this video most of the comments like most of the comments like i'm receiving comments from previous previous like my previous videos like um which visa type did you do who did you come with which what how much did it cost which type of visa can i come with there are a lot of like there's a lot of information on gov.uk if you want like information equal internet honestly guys i will tell you gov.uk equal information you are like go there it has exact amount that you're supposed to pay exact um time the visa is supposed to take exact duration period in the uk another thing is if you're an investor if you have money to invest 
um, in the UK, you are eligible. Go to investors um, application form, gov.uk. You are going to apply there. You are going to at least utangu kena fasi. You are going to come this side. You are going to invest. Maybe you want to invest in healthcare. That one they will take you so fast. Marakaraka because healthcare apa is number one. It's you know it's required. So if you're an investor, you have a lot of money, millions of money, and you want to relocate, you want to come invest on this other side, that's that's okay. There are a lot of visas, guys, but some some might not allow you to, to stay here in the UK, like visitors' visas cannot allow you to, to stay for too long. And uh, another one is transit visa. Transit visa in a transit visa means that like you're coming like Umengia UK, yes, but you are you are exist exiting at the same time maybe una unatoka umefika uk and unatoka kwenda china kuchukua mzigo then you go back home that is transit like you, you can't even maybe stay here for one week like ni transit uko on transit umepanda like una una exchange transportation and all that maybe unapanda ndege you want to take a train to to somewhere that's that's the meaning of transit uh, transit visa mostly ina pewangwa kwa to a business those who people those people who do businesses that the visa that they get all right so most of you i've done this video previously like i've done a video like this previously but most of you like my questions they are like they are repe repe repetitive oh goodness they are repetitive and um sita choka guys i'm here for you i'm here for you i'm here for you even if it means doing these videos like a thousand times nikki explain to the same thing the same thing the same thing I will help you guys as long as you're here to change your life like you want to change your life as long as you want to you want better for you i'm here to support you i'm here to guide you also where i can like this is my any research in guys i've done research for you guys like i'm wishing good like now like i'm wishing you luck if possible like if possible like you know you can relocate you know kenya say it's it's bad like, it's tricky like it's getting worse so for me like doing this video for my mine is dependent visa if you want a dependent visa there's not one thing is there's nothing like spousal there's nothing like spousal visa okay there's a girl who went to um to to apply for you know the the spouse the dependent and he, she was insisting i want the spousal visa i want the spousal visa and she was told there's nothing like spousal visa there's nothing like akuna special spousal visa it's called dependent visa as long as you're married provide your certificate um provide your proof like that your husband or your wife is working in the uk give them the cos like for us we give them the cos certificate of sponsorship work permit and uh, residence you have you must have an address in the uk for you you know at least <laughs> in here you can't think here in the uk you don't have an address unenda kuishi wapi so provide that one if you're dating a mzungu definitely you have to provide provide pictures you have to provide uh, messages you have to provide calls you have to provide uh, bookings the hotel is in amanda travels in mefanya all that taxes if you pay you've paid uh taxes like shared costs the bills and all that you have to provide that like it's a must you prove that you belong to this person or you're married to this person or you have a relationship with this person okay especially if you are married you are trying to come from africa to someone who is here has been here and is almost let's say a uk resident i'm a uk um citizen that one is a little bit tight people are mekwa wakora like people are nowadays they are so naughty they just sell um dependent visas they want to know what for the sake of it then they come and sell sell it for you like ama to you mnaona for the sake of it then mnakuja oh kila mtu ende njia zake oh which that is so risky but again we are here to risk it all <laughs> so it is what it is but make sure you provide the right things don't panic provide for us we provided marriage certificate one thing applying for the visa guys it costed 43 thousand kenya shillings plus the assistance when you go to to apply for that um that visa there's normally um self-service and assisted service please i tell you guys i'm always telling you guys uh, go for assisted services because at least you are guaranteed that there will be a positive response at least you'll be sure that there are no mistakes that you've done you know spare that four thousand kenya shillings to be assisted to upload your documents for you to be 
to be sure okay for you to be at least would you hear this one i'm not panicking i'm not tensing i'm not nervous i'm not anxious about anything and again guys don't panic when they remain with the passport with your passport when you go to apply for biometrics your passport is supposed to remain there that's where they stamp the visa like okay that's where they stamp the visa don't start causing chaos there at your own but i'm back in a passport young passport in a fuck back you go no visa it part way pig way pig way poco passport and you must have a page at least any me empty but to come as you see we have we hadn't traveled that the whole page the whole book had all the pages so we are took on issues and all that so you have to prove funds okay you have to prove funds if you are coming to this side to the person who has been living here like na mepata citizenship huko ama approve that akona uwezo wa kushughulikia like to sustain you until uko stable like you have so that person has to send bank statements to you for you to upload them like to to apply with them unaona kitu kama your public for is of mambo na funds they have to send you mshara yake and they have to be earning at least 18600 uh, pounds every year okay right now na just say mepanda maybe it's 22000 uh, pounds per year so you must be careful with that proof that you can speak english english ielts uh, i'm always talking about this e ielts guys there's no there's no school that will teach you alison do it akusaidia it it will help you like alison that that certificate is not required but the the certificate that is real and legit is the one that you will book the exam online and you'll have to pay 32000 we paid 32000 right now na join me panda bay like it's almost i don't know ni how much say sisi tulipa 32 say maybe shafika 40 and all that so you have to prepare yourself online there's a youtube video i recommend i normally recommend it to my friends um prepare for your ielts so my your ielts learn know things that they ask uh, do practical tests test yourself before you go there now kendo ko when you're being assessed like when you're being tested especially on speech please don't twang don't try to speak like them don't try like don't try to speak like them where on get to look like use your normal um accent use your normal accent that way what you are you understand and you can communicate don't copy them because now utaanza kutwenga hapo na utajiuma ulimi and the english won't come out correctly and it on account to you failed okay normally the the pass mark is 9.0 band 9 and the lowest is around 2 uh, band band 2 at least you should have 6 band 6 for you to be safe for you to be at least for us we got band 8 so yeah you must to have you must have that one ielts is a must if as long as you're coming from a, a country that speaks english ama doesn't speak english you must provide like that ielts you must provide it you must provide it guys um so yeah that's it fans passport definitely you must have it and um your your cos if your partner is coming to work here has been working here you must provide that you must provide the address also guys so yeah and another thing that i want to say here before i close up this video already now now it's 23 minutes so what i want to say is that guys when you come to the uk i've learned that i've interacted with people who like wa me struggle like they're telling me aki robi mean me come to uku na it's been four months miss the part job like uh, i'm not even working uh, i'm worried i don't know how i'm going to be paying my bills i don't know how I'm, i'm going to you know i'm not i'm going to 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 be living here i feel like going back home please 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 the problem might be your cv let me tell you guys let me tell you guys it has happened to many people like what wame kwa ki apply with the cvs zenye sioza huku like it's not an international cv you get what i'm saying like mtu anakuja na cv yake like our the old traditional methods that come to apply nazo cv like who wants to know your age who wants to know that your marriage who wants to know your 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 home like nena nataka kujua kama uko married ama you are female or something guys i am helping you to apply your cv like if you need help in applying cv hit me up hit me up hit me up i have i have tested it i have seen that it's working um to many people that that have come here i've not been charging but now i'm charging like 
right now we are charging to make um cvs all right most of you are using cvs and yumbani like what the hell like it's not even attractive it's not attractive that way the employer will just toss it in the dustbin as long as you know make your cv to look at least cute if you need help with that please hit me up i'm going to leave an email down below please hit me up if you need an international cv all right if you need an international cv hit me up i think that's it for today's video guys i am going to see you um in my next video i have some good news for you i have some good news nakwambia is a good news zime pile like zime pile zime pile zime pile i don't know how i'm going to break the news to you i don't know how i'm going to tell you guys i don't know how like i don't want to bust your bubbles already because you know it is what it is so if you want more information go to gov.uk go to gov.uk don't forget to subscribe guys if you haven't please don't forget to subscribe click the button click the button down below we don't say button we say button <laughs> oh my goodness i will see you guys badai we'll catch up badai see you soon try your luck you can apply the youth for mobility something you can apply for global talent you can try to find if you have um ancestors here in the uk you know you never know you never know honestly you never know so bye bye guys i will see you in my next video ciao ciao